Naisip po ba ako ano ang motherboard at anong ginagawa nito? O baka alam mo na itong isang component na ginagamit upang i-connect na sa CPU at iba pang bahagi na iyong computer. Ngunit, ikaw ay naghahanap na pa ng mas malalang impormasyon para mapalawak ang iyong impormasyon about sa motherboard. Kung gayon, tama ang iyong pinuntahan. Dahil dito sa video na ito, ipinapakita natin kung paano gumagana ang motherboard paloob hanggang labas. Who knows, maybe you'll find even some trivias and tips while you're at it. Ano nga ba ang motherboard? Ano ang naisip mo tuwing nagiging mo sa isang ito? First, ang motherboard ay ang main component ng isang computer. Kinalagay nito sa tawag na backbone ng computer at kinatawag nito minsan na mainboard or bobo in short. It is basically a large circuit board that fits ito computer case. Nakalagay dito ang 90% component ng computer. Ibalik, hindi nito kaya mag-process or mag-function ng mga information ng mag -isa. Kaya kailangan na mag-rely or tulong such as CPU or RAM at ang motherboard ay hindi lang puro software. Pero din itong hardware. Did you know, IBM Personal Computer is regarded as the first motherboard? IBM referred to it as a planner rather than a motherboard at the time. Pero wait lang, bakit nga ba motherboard ang tawag sa motherboard? Hmm. Ano? But traditionally speaking, electrical and electron connectors have been referred as male and female connectors. And the PC board are largely female, the motherboard's primary and main boards are not considered as the main ones. Did you know, the plug-in cards are generally referred to as a daughter board. A few moments later. Kung may alam ka sa motherboards or parts ng computer na bibilhin, mas maganda na kayo or ikaw mismo ang pipili ng components na ito. Bold sa nagkaroon kayo ng knowledge or idea, nagkaroon din kayo na experience sa pagbili nito. Dahil papakita dito kung ano nga bang components ang babagay sa motherboard. Tips, I would not recommend picking motherboard first and putting a CPU in it. That's literally counterproductive because you need to know what CPU you're gonna buy first. Because quite often, those features will be wasted if you don't choose the right CPU. At baka matulad ka sa kanya. A few moments later. Hila, ba't ganun? Ayaw gumana. Hindi talaga gagana yan, pre. Hindi mo chinek yung paglagay mo sa motherboard, eh. Aww. One of the most crucial parts of computer system is the motherboard. It holds together a lot of essential parts of computer, such as memory, connectors for output and input devices, and the central processor unit. It is the connection that allows the computer to connect to the motherboard. Here is where you plug in the ATX connector where it connects the power supply in an ATX style motherboard. Two seconds later. Hardware is one of the two chipsets or integrated circuits. Within the chipset on motherboard, the other chip is called Sudbridge. Each chipset has specific set of tasks. Communication between CPU and other external device through buses. The Northbridge connects the Southbridge to the CPU. It is often referred to as the memory controller hub. It handles a faster component on the motherboard, including RAM, ROM, basic input output system, BIOS, accelerated graphics port, AGP, such as PCI Express, and other Southbridge chip, as well as the CPU. It is also controlled CPU ashe if it's located on the motherboard. Two seconds later. Hard drives and CD DVD drives can be connected to motherboard using the Integrated Drive Electronics or IDE interface. Two devices were linked together by the original IDE 16-bit interface using a single cable reboot. Advanced Technology Attachment ATA or Intelligent Drive Electronics are other names for IDE. 